Hello everyone, this is Damon Bell with Digital Magnitude, and for this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add clarity to an image, but without haloing. So to start, um, everything's turned to zero for the strength, so we're just looking at the original image. And what I'm going to do is turn the highlights and shadows up to 100% for the clarity. And the next thing I'm going to do is use 70 as a value for the preserve original image color. So anytime I use um, clarity, I typically use 70% of the clarity strength I'll use for the preserve color strength. So if I'm using um, 100 for the clarity, I'll use 70 for the preserve image color. If I'm using 50, I would use 35, etc. That ratio seems to work pretty good. So I'll also turn up the size of this um, clarity. And you can see that when we're really overdoing the clarity, um, we start to get this halo and you can see in the sky around the, um, the trees. Now, th this is common when you're adding clarity um, really strong to an image to get that. But I'll show you how we can add clarity without that. So I'm going to uncheck the lock, highlight, and shadow values, and I'm going to turn the highlight strength down to zero. Now you see when I did that, the um, halos are completely gone, and we'll view the original, and then the filtered, and you can still see we're adding some clarity, but we're doing it more so to the shadows, and so we are, we are eliminating those halos in the sky. And you can also, use the shadow or the highlights but just at a lower percentage and have very minimal haloing. I typically wouldn't use it um, this high of the size either, somewhere probably around 120 I think looks pretty good. And so there's minimal halos there and you can view the original and the filtered. And I might not even go this high in the shadows either. Probably somewhere in there. So I'm going to also show you this localized edge contrast. And this adds what I like to call contrast sharpening. I'll just turn this up here. And it really um, sharpens and clarifies the image. This is kind of a crossover between sharpening and clarifying. It's um, clarifying, but it's doing it um, more localized to the edges. And so we will um, zoom in here to 100% and then I will pan actually we're at 200% now we'll zoom out to we're viewing it one to one so we're at 100% view and you can see this image is really sharp and just pops so if we view the original and then the filtered see it looks pretty good I'm also going to show you if I turn um, the clarity itself down, view the original again, and then the filtered. You see this um, localized edge contrast. This really clarifies and sharpens the edges per se, but it does so without adding any artifacts to the image. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you're interested at all in this filter, please be sure to visit our website. There is a link in the description of this video.